And so uh, today I'm going to be doing a review of an ESR meter. It's a little unboxing. I picked this up on Amazon. Um, if you need one, see the link. Um, so uh, instructions, recycling, a little stray capacitor off in the distance. So it's reasonably well packaged. Get that out of there. And um, this is an MESR100, pretty common. So let's bring this in where you guys can see it. So it comes with a couple of really nice little leads and an impossibly small screw. Fortunately, we have a small screwdriver for such things. So let's go ahead and get it opened up and get a battery in it. volt it uses double A's so I'll be right back fortunately I have a really healthy feet fleet of rechargeables so let's see hopefully it'll work on a rechargeable some things do some things don't hey there we go it does work on rechargeables that's really nice so let's go ahead and put this back together can see that so I've got some different capacitors I've got a little ceramic film capacitor I have an axial capacitor and I have a little generic inexpensive electrolytic it'll be interesting to see how this goes so first let's put actually you know what huh, let me I'll be right back all right so first things first I need to zero it so I've gone ahead and zeroed it you just press that and release it zeroes it all right so then it reads nothing so first things first we have a little uh 103 microfarad and it has a built-in station for testing here and let's just see what happens So that's not really doing anything. Let's read the manual. All right, so got it zeroed. Let's test a just a generic ceramic film capacitor. Yeah, maybe that part doesn't work so well. So we'll put the leads on it and see what it comes out at. I don't even know if I can test these with it, but I would think maybe I could. Yeah, maybe it doesn't like those. So let's actually try it with a a real capacitor. So it is saying 3.64 ohms and it's good for a 25 volt capacitor if it's less than 22 picofar or microfarads. So let's see what we actually have here. So we have a 4.7 microfarad 50 volt. So, and we go to uh, 63 volts. Oh, that's stupid. So let's look it up and see what it says. So unfortunately, these are crap ass um, Chinese capacitors from Teda, which no big deal. I, I mean, they were three cents a piece, but they're JW Co. And JW Co. puts out a crap-ass 
data sheet that doesn't actually have any test data for their capacitor. So we're going to have to go with the MESR 100 reading that says, yeah, hey, it's 3.7 ohms, and if it's less than a 22 microfarad capacitor, then it's good. It's 4.7, so this is good. And that makes sense. So let's, uh, let's see what, if anything, happens here to this radial. You know, I don't think this is going to do anything, but we'll see. You know, and again, I'm trying to get to know what this tool does, and hopefully you guys find this useful. If you do, like or subscribe. Yeah, it doesn't like that. Oops. Yeah. And if you need one of these, check out the link in the description. Yeah, I don't think this will read these. I think this is electrolytic only. No, no dice. All right, so for our next trick, it's the box of shame. Something you guys haven't seen in a long time. This is um, not every board I've ever designed, but it's a lot of boards that I've designed that didn't work out so well. So we're gonna look in the box of shame for an electrolytic capacitor that's in a circuit. Uh, one of my many projects, another of my many projects. Strangely enough, I can't, I don't see anything that I use an electrolytic capacitor for. Ah, there's one. So normally you'd have to desolder that to test it. And this is my tiny timer project. So, you know, it's real. I did sell these. This is a prototype. There is something wrong with it, but it's more than likely it's a logic or programming error. So, we're back here. First thing we want to do when we're in a circuit, double check we're in the right spot next to that. We want to go ahead and short this out and then we're going to test it. So let's see. Negative is going to be over here and positive is going to be over here. This is a little bit tough to work with. You know, there are, there are different adapters that would do this better. There we go. Oh, almost. There we go. So... It's 4.7 ohms in circuit, and it's good if it's less than 22 microfarads. And it's kind of jumping around because I'm moving a little bit, but hey, you know what? It's telling us it's a good capacitor. So that's what this is for, is to test these in circuit. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this really interesting and useful. Have a great night.